How dare you, Tyler? Welcome to the MD cast. What did Tyler do? He clapped. Oh. That's a thing that you can only do at the end of a performance or before one begins. Or a when in a bedroom with your lover. It didn't technically begin. It begun when I clapped. But so you s- think you're God now all of a sudden? <laughs> you think you have all this power? Yes. You think just because you become a, a ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village that you are allowed to, uh, to, to make these rules? I could end this podcast right now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't use your ninjutsu on you us. You can end this man. episode, but you can't end the podcast. Are you right? <laughs> Not until he brings back his ultimate uh, ninja technique gun. <laughs> <laughs> would you kill us just to end just to end the podcast, Tyler? No, it would be the most expedient way. I wouldn't kill you to end this. Nice. That's that's very cool, Tyler. <laughs> Thank you, Tyler. I very much appreciate that. And now that we're in good standing and know that the podcast is allowed to continue, welcome to it. Um, it's episode like 55 or some shit. I think it's 54. I think it's 54. I thought it was 55. I don't know. I don't know. Welcome to episode something or other of the MD Poop. I haven't Um, edited an episode in a while. (laughs) Mood. I'm, 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 I'm Kyle, warm and cozy. I'm Tyler, drunk and chillin'. I'm Eric, (laughs) self-loathing. Fear and self-loathing in Eric's basement. Oh, where did the rest of the bottles go? Do we have anything left? We didn't bring any in. Fuck. All we've got is raspberry gin and a little bit of conk. I'll wait until you two are talking and then I'll disappear. Ah, he'll ninja away. Yeah. You think I talk? I do not talk. I know. I'm only <laughs> I here. edit the episodes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only here for those few moments that I'm needed. <laughs> but Tyler, you're back. always needed. That's not yeah, true. Tyler, you're an important part of this good. How else would we know important things about TikTok? Yeah, TikTokery. <laughs> That's not even for the podcast. How else would we get opinion the I mean, opinions of our LGBTQ representation? Tyler, you are the main source of my TikTok uh, information because everything I I understand I get from your TikTok feed that you play very loudly through the microphone while we play Dark Souls. <laughs> Yes. I don't think it's that loud. <laughs> it's actually pretty loud. Yeah, it's not loud to you because you have headphones on. <laughs> no, I always listen with one headphone off because it sounds really quiet when I have the headphones on. Well, you wow. hold it right beside your microphone. <laughs> <laughs> we hear everything. Good. I feel like it's the same octave volume that I have. When I'm playing songs through my my microphone, so that you guys can hear them, because I know you won't listen to them if I send them to you. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to them on my own time. Okay, what's the last one I sent you? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Caught. Oh, <laughs> uh, what was it? We may never know. I I don't I don't remember. Well, to be fair, whatever you were gonna say, I was gonna say it was wrong because I don't remember the last thing I sent you either. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to get uh, Gross. Excuse me, moi. Excuse you. We watched The Great Gatsby today. We did watch The Great Gatsby today, and it was a very fantastical movie for the first half, and then it got very sad and made me think about my own life. Yeah, it got very <laughs> sad. But luckily, I don't need to worry about that, because I'm not rich. Me neither. <laughs> but he proves, as long as you have the mindset, you can be rich one day. And then you die. And then you get shot. Spoilers. <laughs> he died for the love of his life They didn't care about him at all Man I wasn't even sad I remember the exact feeling I had When I first watched the movie It wasn't even sadness or despair It was just disgust Which I feel like is the greatest undertone of the movie because The greatest I, Gatsby Yeah the greatest Gatsby undertone was like I walked away from that movie like we are all disgusting. We all have secrets, and we are all just gross. And none of us are Toby Maguire. Yes. I don't have secrets. Okay, tell us everything then. 
<laughs> well, that's a that's a long list. You gotta be specific. Okay, start from day one, Tyler. <laughs> Everything. Once got beat up by five kids in superhero costumes. Damn. Which Can we please there? have the rest of that story? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what heroes they were. <laughs> was it the Avengers? <laughs> I don't think so. Before they were even the Avengers. I, I was like five or six at the time. It was like around Halloween time, I think. And all the local kids were like dressed up. And I was just chilling in like, like the middle of the complex I lived in at the time. They just walked up to me and picked a fight. <laughs> there was Hulk. There was Iron Man, there was <laughs> Thor, there was Captain America, and there was Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> in the fight, I elbowed Hulk in the, in the chest, and him and Spider-Man were brothers, and they ended up leaving. <laughs> this is some important lore. So the three stayed... I end up punching one in the nose, he left, and the other two just like, this is no fun anymore, we're leaving. <laughs> yeah. You were I- Thanos! <laughs> <laughs> what were you dressed up as? Nothing! <laughs> I was just minding my own business! <laughs> it's the greatest villain of all, Tyler. <laughs> the greatest Gatsby. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the Lex Luthor of, of this encounter. <laughs> Oh. Okay, from there, what else? Another fight happened. <laughs> oh, another one? At, like, uh, the common unit of the complex, but, like, in the back of it, there's just the, the square of cement. For no reason, it's just there. A cinder block? No. no. Like, in the ground. Oh, okay. Like, just, like, a backyard, basically, for it, but it was just a square thing of cement. Okay, so there was supposed to be something there, but they never finished it. Yeah, basically. Yeah, okay. Lazy asshole. And as I'm fighting this kid, who, who has, like, a good... Why did the fight happen? I think we're all just bulling around, but then it became serious. Bulling to brawling, you know, the usual. Like, he had, like, a good seven inches on me. On like dick he was, length? He was yeah, tall. They were measuring dicks, you know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Meaning his dick was seven inches and yours was two inverted. Yeah, uh, I, I was thinking like he his it, it was just seven inches longer. Okay, so he's got like a fourteen incher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, continue. He was a real Hulk. <laughs> like I've said before, I don't think I've ever said it on the podcast. I am dyslexic. I am kind of retarded. And uh, he kept on making fun of me because I didn't know how to spell was back in the day. How did you spell was back in the day? W-A-Z every single time. Ah, wow. Oh, so you're like from the hood. (laughs) (laughs) That pretty much. Okay, yeah, continue. Because like even like back then I always asked the teachers or people around me like, how do you spell was? For some reason my brain couldn't process the word. Couldn't process the S. I couldn't get who. I always spelt it H O. Yeah. And then I got in trouble. I was like that with also with uh, because. Because is another word like that I really hated, but anyways. Because is a dumb word. Friends <laughs> always fucked me up too. I was told be like, be, spell out fry ends. That's how I. That's how I, it was always mentioned to me. I remember some kids just like, oh yeah, I think of it as fry ends. I'm like, whoa. Yeah. And fry F R Y what? Well, you see, I'm retarded enough to, like, actually think of letters, so... <laughs> me too. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that led into me putting his head through a fence. Hell yeah. Did you kill him? No. We turned his face into a glory hole, as they do. <laughs> I don't know! You put it through a wall. Put it through a fence. Or uh, fence, whatever. Who fucking cares, you know? You would you, a would you bore a hole in the fence to suck your own dick? No. I don't think it works like that, unless it's a temporal hole. Let's not get back to that. Have we been on this before? This just brings back memories of the BJ hole. 
<laughs> portal. <laughs> okay, but here's a different question. Let's say you you know, it's like it's like if you have a portal gun, but it's tiny, and you stick your dick in it. Would you suck your own dick with it? Mm. Yes. Out of curiosity. I'd say I would try it, but I feel like I would abandon it very quickly. I don't think I would try it. I'd do it till I get the nut off. Really? He'd be that invested? Yeah. Mm. Cause just, like just to feel what it from what like. from what I, <laughs> from what I've heard, a lot of people are like, oh, it's that that can like self suck. They're like, oh yeah, it's a lot more like sucking a dick than getting your dick sucked. I'd be like, let's try it out. But then I feel like upon realizing that they were right, I'd be like, yeah, I'm not into this. Yeah, I I feel like I just. I feel like I already know that, you know? Like, I, I've already got that idea. I'm just not going to bother trying it. Oh, first look place. at Mr. High and Mighty, not willing yeah, to suck his own dick. Yeah, I'm willing to suck my own fucking dick. <laughs> I would. Get on my level, bro. I would do it, like, out of curiosity. I just... I don't know, maybe I'm just not as interested in my own fucking dick. Because, uh, you gotta think of the possibilities afterwards with this little mini portal gun. But would you shoot a portal in front of your dick and then one behind your ass? No. No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> would you, Eric? No, I'm just thinking laughing? it would look really funny. <laughs> what if... What, what if... What if you just, you just, you're like, I gotta get use out of this portal gun, but the portals are only so big, so there's not a whole lot, you can't even fit your whole body into it, so you're like, you just make up weird ways to jerk off with it, so you like, put a portal down, and you put your arm through it, and your arm's now on the other side, and you just jerk yourself off with it. I just seem like, like jerking off with extra stuff. It is! Like but you, you're trying to get your money's worth. Like you're sitting down at a table. And then you shoot one in front of your dick, and then you shoot one on top of the table, and then it's just like you get a different angle of like movement with your. Not arm. even. I'm thinking like, you imagine you take you have like a plank of wood that you hold in front of your arm, and you stick your arm through the portal, and the other portal is just beside you. So your <laughs> your arm is beside you, just reaching over. <laughs> When you said that, when you said you shoot it onto a plank of wood, I imagined you put your di- you you shoot one in front of your dick, and then you put your dick through it, and then you shoot another one on top of a plank of wood, and then you just hit the plank of wood off of shit. <laughs> sex ed week <laughs> I take a look at my penis and then I say get out of here <laughs> but y'all are y'all are thinking too small with this it doesn't just have to be we're talking yourself. about my dick of course I'm thinking small <laughs> <laughs> you can put it in other places that no one would expect so I can become a portal sex offender, thank God. Yes. That's so good. <laughs> oh my God, I can do the, whoa, the, whoa, the old wait. portal in the popcorn trick. <laughs> Does it follow portal rules where it has to be on a light object? Huh? I don't, no. Tyler, I'm going to put it this way. I don't completely understand the morals or physics of shooting my dick into one form of reality to another. But he said the portal gun, so my first thought was the portal gun or portal. Yeah, no. Isn't that laced to a potato? No. This doesn't have those, this doesn't have the the limitations of the, like, game mechanics. This is just, you you can make portals. You make two connected portals. The things I would do. But, like, the thing, okay, let's go into a list of the things that Tyler would do. Tyler, what would you do? It'd be a lot of fun times. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I'd shoot one to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a good idea. You'd get frostbite. You saw when Arnold took his helmet off in fucking Magic School Bus, right? No. That'd be your dick. It'd get solidified in ice, and then you'd yeah. pull it back, and then you'd slam it on a wall, and it would shatter. 
Fuck. Make sure the <laughs> you freeze it, and then you put you you shoot the portal onto the the bit of wood. And you hit <laughs> something. It would be like that one scene. What if instead of like at the start of Snowpiercer, you know how they shoved the guy's arm inside yeah, of the they train, shattered the guy's arm. Yeah. What if they did that with his dick instead? That would be fucked and up. And they didn't they didn't like acknowledge it at all. That's just something they did at the start of the movie, and then they moved on completely from it. I feel like. I feel like that's the plot of a really bad porn parody where, like, it's, it's a Dojin porn to say parody, that. and they pull down his pants, and his dick is as long as his arm, <laughs> and they just stick it out the side. <laughs> Man, poor dude. Let's look up Snowpiercer on and Hentai. No. I don't think there's really going to be anything. It'll be somebody fucking a snowman or something. Probably. Oh. That would also probably fuck you. Or your dick Snow up. Woman. Ooh. Is there any Snow Woman waifus? Um, Classified Snow Woman. Like a snow, a snowman, but a Snow Woman. Oh, most definitely. They, at the very least, there has to be like R sixty three Frosty. You know. Hold on, you guys carry on a conversation. I need to do some research. So R, what's your thoughts on R sixty three Frosty? You know what? I've seen. I've seen a female version of the Snowmeister. Who's the Snowmeister? You know. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. That doesn't da, da, count. Da. What? That doesn't count. That doesn't different. count. That's different. But it's the Snowmeister. It's the Snowmeister, but it's not the Snowman. <clears throat> anyway, well, what from... if you just R? What was it? R sixty three. Yeah. Oh, look Olaf up Jack Frost. Frozen. No. Hey, I mean, that would be a snow woman. All right, I'll look up Jack Frost, but I have a feeling I'll get a lot of the... Um, Elsa? Yeah. Probably. Not Elsa, but like... You know the fucking... Not Elsa, but the guy from We Are the Guardians or whatever? Oh. Uh, what the fuck is this? J- J- Jack Frost? Yeah? What Frost is Shin Gumi Tensei? What the fuck is this? What? What is Megami Tensei? Uh, Shin Megami Tensei? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's uh, the larger series that Persona's based or based in. Okay, well, there's this. Oh, Jack Frost. That's not what I was looking for. Um, he's actually yeah, he's like the he's like a popular mascot. Let's of the look series. up Snowman. The only thing I remember from Persona is I think I watched <laughs> you play on like the PSP. Yeah. And there was like the succubus who just has the needle dick. That was Incubus. Incubus, because there is there is Succubus who is like sexy lady and like leotard and wings or whatever. Except I think that I think she's like called Lilith or whatever. But then there's just a specific demon called Incubus, which is a male Succubus, and yeah. he's just got a massive needle peen. Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, because like he floats right. there and just goes. Hoo-hoo-hoo. Yeah. What and was the he... What was the Snowmeister's name again? Snowmeister. Okay. <laughs> Well, I'm not seeing anything for a snowman, but now well, I'm interested in Snowmeister. I've seen it before. It had a, it had a, a Heatmeister as well. But, um, yeah, and I, I remember his specific attack animations where he would thrust. <laughs> yeah! Snow Miser. Those games were Miser. weird. Miser. Yeah, they, they, I mean, they still are. There's, there's one that's just a, a like generic-looking demon sitting on a toilet. And when he, his attack animation is just to push one out, you know? Nice. There's also Mara. Mara is famous because it's a cock on a chariot. This is the only one I'm seeing on this website. Eh, not the one I've seen. I figured as much. But I'm not seeing anything for Snowman, but I'm also not looking too deep at the same time. This is true. There are more pressing matters, you see. Uh huh. But it's out there. Somewhere out there. Uh, it's something, something, those lyrics from that, of that song. Oh. Who? I got a topic. Okay. Sure. For Get once. us off this topic, please. I thought about this a couple days ago when something minutely inconvenienced me. Okay. And my first thought was like, this is it. I'm killing myself. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you to. Okay. What is that super small inconvenience that doesn't matter at all that would just simply tip you over the edge? Most things, I feel. Choose one. 
Um, like something as simple as like, hey, my shoes aren't in the right place. This is it. A minor I got the alcohol. That would just fucking send me. Um, you see, I'm the type of person who a minor inconvenience will just send my entire mood spiraling into like, man, life sucks mode. But um, none of them is like, you just decide in your head, man, today's the day. You ever, you ever like, you ever not brush your teeth at night and you wake up in the morning and you just got like bad breath and it's terrible? (laughs) (laughs) All right. Another secret time. (laughs) Oh boy, secret time. I'm a filthy beast. Oh. Do you not brush your teeth at night? I haven't, like, brushed my teeth in, like, decades. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do you floss? Do you mouthwash? No. <laughs> oh my god, your teeth are so white, though. What the fuck? Are they? No, I can see the discoloration. Yeah, I've noticed and they've I, gone, I, I like, presume yellow. You have, I presume you have fillings, right? At some point, yeah, I did. Because, uh, like... Obviously, I don't focus on people's teeth, because the glass houses, honestly. I've just always but, thought my breath just smells bad. Like, I've I, met people that have worse breath. I, I don't I, really I, notice breath that much. That also might be because I've hung around you for like six years, though. <laughs> so I, might, I, might I mean, be, I'm not smelling your breath. Bro. I might be nose blind. <laughs> but, like, I, um, I, can, I can see, like, parts of your teeth that are more white than others, and I just presume those are fillings, so... But, um, Any feelings I had like in the back? Really? Okay. Well, that's just weird then. But I mean, honestly, I was actually really bad with brushing my teeth for very long. I'm still not great at it. I'm just I I, per- I procrastinate. I just I'm lazy. Yeah, I feel that. I never do it at night. I, I do it in the morning if I uh, when I do it. Well, like my like my thing is like whenever like usually I have like gum or mints mm-hmm. before I leave the house. I just so that's how you do it then. Yeah. Because I'm, now I'm, like, kind of trying to wrap my head around, like, how are your teeth so, like, not disgusting, then, if you haven't brushed your teeth in, like, two years? It's been more. Be- uh, because, like, I was seeing this one trend where it was, like, these girls on TikTok that were, like, I haven't brushed uh-huh, my teeth in, I haven't brushed my teeth in three months because of depression, and I still feel beautiful, and they're pulling their, like, lips back and stuff, and there's maggots in their mouth, and I'm, like, They, they have Ugh. to be doing something yeah. to fuck themselves. Because the thing is, right, you can go, like, you, you can go a while without brushing your teeth, and it's not gonna fucking, it's not gonna end your fucking mouth. Yeah. But, you know. Tell that to steve <laughs> Steve-O does other shit, all right? But that does Steve-O's me of, different. <laughs> that reminds me of one thing that fucking tanked my mood once, uh, that, where I'm just like, oh man, this is the day. Um, I I had food. Uh, it felt like I had food stuck between my teeth. And I'm I hate like, when that happens. Yeah, I do too. And I'm, and I'm trying to get it out with my tongue, as I do. And I'm like, oh, it's not coming out. So I grab a bit of floss, as, as I do. I just got some floss, grab it, and I go to do it. And I... I feel something, something crack, something break. I'm Did like, you like pull the fro- like floss down and just a tooth came with no. it? I I feel something. I'm what the fuck? And I'm I'm rubbing the area with my tongue, and there's some I there's something's on my tongue, something solid, and the the side of my tooth between these two teeth feels jagged suddenly. I'm just like what the fuck? Did I just crack a fucking tooth open? And this is I'm like oh fuck. And for the next couple of days, this bothered me, and I'm like, uh, I'm like, okay, if I crack, I look it up. I'm like, things about cracked teeth. I'm like, I should go to a dentist and get this looked at. I go, they wind up telling me like, you probably had some kind of like minor plaque buildup because it does nothing looks fucking cracked or anything. But for that period of time, I'm sitting there like, I- I'm fucking done. I- I'm I'm done. Do you- this is sucks want to know how much of a journey I've had with my teeth? Probably not a good one. Like, obviously, like I've explained before, like, my two front teeth are, like, overlapping. Mm. That's because I used to fight a lot as a kid. Like, you know, Yeah, and one got mm, tilted. But, the same common unit place I mentioned before where I had the fight in the, in the back of it, there was an easy way, there was a fence, and the roof was, like, not even, like, two feet off from the fence. 
So I, being a kid, I climbed onto the roof. Mm-hmm. And one time, my dad saw me. He's like, oh, kids being kids. He told me to jump to him, catch me, <laughs> and we'll go get dinner. You know what? He didn't catch me. <laughs> <laughs> you know what happened? The one fucking spot. The one spot. My face... There's a rock in the ground, and I chipped three of my back teeth Ooh. on either side. So for years, I've just had chipped teeth, and one time I was like, these teeth hurt. <laughs> I finally went to the dentist, and the dentist looked at my teeth like, you're fucked. How the you're fuck? fucked? <laughs> I feel that that. Uh, that, that, that's kind of a mood, though. Like you fuck yourself up in some way, and you're sitting there like there is pain, but I, I'm not, I'm not saying anything about it. It'll pass. I have another story relating to that, but like, luckily for me, they're child's teeth. Yeah. So they so just they came out. They just capped it, filled filament, capped it, and oh, okay. that would slowly push it out and let the adult teeth come in. Okay. So like, randomly, a f- like a few years later. When I started going to our our public school where I met yeah. you, I was just like, man, a tooth feels loose. Put my hand in. Pulled her out. I just like gave a little wiggle and I was like, it shouldn't be wiggling this much. Pulled it out, yeah. <laughs> oh, Silver there she goes. Comes. But yeah, I just did that with every single one. I even have like a little tooth at home. Like a little plastic tooth that has the tooth in it. <laughs> I got some stories. Relating to that one, I remember when I was younger, my mom, like, she, her parents didn't care about dental hygiene at all because her dad was an Irish immigrant and her mom was, like, not mentally there. So they didn't take her to the dentist until she was, like, probably my age and she went on her own. And, like, I remember one day, just out of, like, habit of living, like, she just had bad teeth from like the start and like she they're all fine now but like mm. she just reached in her mouth and pulled out a fucking molar one day yeah <laughs> and, i relate to that and then she was like i gotta go to the dentist but like anyway from that i remember on the topic of teeth i still have a chipped front tooth like uh the one beside your fang on my bottom row on mm-hmm. the right that one's been chipped since i was like kind of late public school because i was at i was at andrew's house and we had a big sleepover with all our friends at like on one of his birthdays and i remember in the middle of the night we're all goofing around and then one of our other friends he had like one of those big like yoga balls and he threw it as hard as he could at my face and it bounced off my face and it hit the computer and a bunch of other shit but that wasn't (laughs) the part that bothered me what bothered me was it pushed like, it hit me so hard in the forehead that it pushed my, like, skull backwards that my jaw, my bottom jaw stayed where it was and the back of my head went where it was. But in doing that, it chipped my front tooth. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been to the dentist probably about, like, I'd say 50 times since then because it's been a long time since public school. Yeah, and really. they have not brought it up once. So I don't think it's an issue, One, but I still remember it and notice it. <laughs> that that makes me think of way back when uh, talking to uh, to one of our one of our old friends uh, way back in elementary. Uh, he had gotten braces recent or like a bit before then, and we were just talking about braces or whatever. And um, and uh, you know he we were just talking about the general like you know why you would have braces and all that. He's like uh, uh, he's like. Uh, out of curiosity, you know, uh, show show me show me your teeth, like you know, have your teeth just together, you know, have mouth closed and all that, or like, but let me see it. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, okay, you got your teeth are kind of like misaligned. your teeth are very straight too, Tyler. By the way, without needing braces as well. It's but, just, <laughs> that's just my except main for problem. that one. Every like, other tooth is like. Fine. I, I hope I don't come off as rude when I say this, but you have astonishingly good teeth for all things considered. <laughs> <laughs> Considering the, the, this revelation. I'll mention two things after Kyle's done this story. But, um, yeah, he, he just, he looks at me and he's like, yeah, you could, uh, you could probably, like, do with braces. Like, braces might fix your teeth a bit. I'm like, okay, yeah. I never thought about it again, because really I don't want braces. The last time I was at the dentist was for this chip tooth thing I mentioned earlier. Uh, air quotes chip tooth, because it obviously wasn't. And they just randomly bring up, it's like, 
have you ever considered getting braces? You know, it might uh, straighten your teeth a little. And I just look at him like, I don't want them. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Leave want me them. alone. I don't want them. You're like, oh, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. I had braces as a kid. I've heard nothing but pain come from them, so. Eh, pain and straight teeth, I guess, but that's the price of beauty, and I still yeah, think I'm ugly. Look, straight teeth isn't going to make me any more beautiful. <laughs> Just say, trust like, me. If anything, nowadays I can get like one of those uh, like Invisalign things, mm. which act like braces but aren't bolted to your fucking teeth, you know? Uh, okay. But um, the two things I wanted to mention yeah. are... I have no idea how you dealt with me during fucking elementary school. Because I don't know if you ever noticed how bad I stank. Did you ever notice that? No. It was bad. Like, Not that I remember, anyway. As a kid, like, I rarely ever showered unless I absolutely had to. And, like, I always wore the same clothes every day. And it, it was bad. It was bad. Like, I could... You know, I'll, I'll mention this. It was so bad, I, I scratched my nuts once. <laughs> and I brought my hand up. There was blood. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting you to say that it would smell bad. I, I wasn't, it smelled bad. I, I wasn't ready for blood. Honestly, though, like, I, like I, I've complained before that I'm a fucking idiot and I hate how I treat my nails. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, and one of the things I always hate about my nails is that uh, I'll be sitting there at night or whatever, I'll scratch my arm or I'll scratch my back or my stomach or something, and because of how I just chip at my nails with my other nails, they get jagged and I cut myself up. It really sucks when you do that to your balls. <laughs> it dies. It hurts. <laughs> it sucks. Like an example, look at my arm. I was yeah. just a little, little bug bite. I was just like... Yeah, it, it, it's it's awful. Don't do it. But yeah, <laughs> I never showered. Like, I don't know if you guys even noticed throughout high school. Like, I was still yeah, kind of bad. Yeah. But um, another thing is, back in elementary school, did you ever notice a period for, like, maybe a year or so where I was just walking funny? No, actually. Like, kind of like... The here's, like a, here's the Stay a fun Puff fact. Marshmallow Man? Huh? Like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Here's a fun fact about me, especially around that time. I didn't care for the affairs of other people, and I was painfully unobservant. But yeah, I was... It especially worse during gym, because gym's everyone's favorite time, my favorite time and everything. Mm. And, like, I would struggle to sit still. always had to move my legs. Every single time we had, like, to run, I'd fucking... Fuck, ooh, 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 ooh. And, uh, turns out... I think I've mentioned this before... I had a hernia, a.k.a. Oh, really? I had a bone in my pelvis that grew faster than all the bones around it, so it just snapped. <laughs> oh, okay. I could, If I kept my legs closed, I was in excruciating pain, so I always had to keep them spread. And um, what was bad about that is, obviously me being a kid, I'm hitting puberty. The, the, <laughs> the, the pelvis area stinks a lot during that time. I always had to keep a shirt on. I would try to keep my legs closed, you know, keep it contained. But mm-hmm. it was just, it was just agonizing pain every single time. Oh yeah, you could feel the heat coming off of his fucking loins. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it would get bad sometimes. Man, growing up sure hurts. Going back to the, uh, <laughs> it really did. Going back to the things that like just send you and whatnot. I feel like I've been in a state of just getting sent for a long ass time like ever since maybe high school where like you're always on the edge of suicide you know you know like i can think of one thing recently where like like it was a good day too like i got some drawing done i did some reading i watched some favorite some of my favorite youtube videos i worked out but then i went in the shower and i just took a shower and i was just listening to music and i started crying and like i didn't know why and then i just told myself there's no magic left in the world. <laughs> like, like, oh my god, it was just doubled over in the shower. And I was just like, there's no magic left in the world. <laughs> and then ten minutes later, I was like, what the fuck's wrong with me? And I started laughing, and I'm like, you fucking idiot. There's no, There was never magic in the world. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, those are just the most fucking polarizing points of your life. <laughs> Man. There's no magic left in the world. You no just magic. sit. You're just struck by this moment of like profane, <laughs> profound emotion at some notion, and then ten minutes later, you're like, "What? <laughs> <laughs> what?" <laughs> For me, the thing that brought this up because like I was going back into my room one time, and I have this like broken basket I just keep in the corner of my room. My leg went past it. So it kind of like stabbed me in the leg. I was like, I'm just going to kill myself. (laughs) (laughs) And you know what the thing is? I have so many moments like that in my life where like that's, that's honestly just my go-to response for a lot of my, a lot of the problems I have now. Where, like, I'll be minorly inconvenienced, like, I'll drop my keys on the way home from work, trying to get <laughs> in the house, like, oh, and I'm like, I'm just gonna it. fucking kill myself. Like, uh, I'm, I'm just so sick of this. <laughs> I'm just so sick of this bullshit, and I'm just the- sitting on my front porch, the sun's shining, I have a house, and I'm like, I'm just gonna fucking kill myself. I'm just so done. I'm just done. <laughs> <laughs> Like there are tons of simple things that'll just send me, and the points where I'm where I always j- that that also always really hit is anytime, like, I, all right, you know, picture me. I'm sitting there. Maybe I maybe I I, I was working today. Uh, finished work. Okay, you know, do some drawing or something, or watch some YouTube videos, and then I get an email from the school. And I see the name of our school, my mood drops, and I say, you know, life certainly isn't worth living, you know? <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll look, it, it can be fucking anything. It could be like, you gotta pay like your tuition this term, or um, here's some extra info about your course, or you need to pick an elective. It doesn't matter what it is. I get an email from the school, and I say, life ain't worth it no more. You know what's funny? I still get like blogs from that school every like month. <laughs> They'll just keep sending. My mom gets some occasionally gets phone calls from her uh, from her university. She graduated university twenty years ago. <laughs> just because they have your fucking number on record, they have to call. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to find you, so they're gonna ring you up. But yeah, it doesn't take it doesn't take a lot to fucking send me. And I will say though, one of the things that. Um, one of the larger things that sends me, because, you know, obviously there are minor things that are ultimately inconsequential, but are fucking, they'll send you. The thing that sends me that is not just a minor random thing is my own hearing. Because I've mentioned before, my hearing's not good in the first place, but I've also got very bad uh, type of earwax that builds up over time, and it builds up to the point where it actually deafens me. Hmm. Um... And I'll reach the point where I'll be sleeping at night and suddenly can't hear. Out of one ear, I just can't hear. If I cannot hear out of one ear, it will drive me to tears. Because I just hate it so much. And even now, like lately, uh, I've had it pretty bad where if I sleep, if I, uh, if I fucking roll to the side and sleep on my side at night, I can slowly hear my, uh, I can hear my, um... My hearing just fade. And, That's fucked. And I, what I have to do is eventually I have to sit there, I have to stand up, pull my ear down, open up my ear canal. <laughs> and Can't you like go to a doctor and then just go fucking flush it out? You can. You can. And one time I... Because um, here's another thing that really sucks. Because... Um, not everyone has to deal with this, but, you know, sometimes you get, like, an itch in your ear, so you're like, ah, oh, just scratch the inside of your ear. Um, it's technically not a good thing to do, because what you can do is you can push your earwax deeper into your ear, and that's how you wind up with, like, just a real clog. Yeah. I once did that, and it was so fucking bad. I go to the guy uh, to, to try and fucking... Dr. Clean earwax. Yeah, Dr. Earwax. Uh, I, go, I go to him... And he's like, uh, and he looks in, he, he has a look inside, he says, shit, man, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I'm like, you think? He's like, yeah, looks pretty bad. I'm like, can you get it out? He says, well, let's find out. Let me tell you, it was painful. It took longer than I'd hope it would. And it was terribly unpleasant. 
You know what's funny? You know what I love seeing, like, on TikTok and stuff? What? I'll sometimes see videos like that, like, the doctor doing, like, uh, earwax removals. Mm -hmm. But they have, like, the camera at the end of, like, whatever tool they're using. Uh, no thank you. And so you physically get to see them, like, peel the wax off, like, the fucking ear canal and just pull it out one big chunk. Look, I have to hear it and I have to feel it. I don't want to see it. And I remember... I wish I could do that with, like, some of my boogers, because, like, sometimes my nose will get really clogged with, like, dry ones, and, like, I know it's like, oh, you're disgusting, you pick your nose. I can't get some of these out with a Kleenex. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you I wish what's... I could just, like, have a string in my nose and just fucking pull just it all anchor. out in, like, one piece, and I'm like, yeah! Well, yeah! <laughs> the thing... Uh, I'm not, and I'm not sure if you've ever seen this with, like, ear cleaning stuff, because the main tool, two tools they've used for me, they have a little tiny, it's kind of like a hoop thing, a, a hoop on a stick that they scrape you with. That one sucks because yeah. it hurts. Yeah. The other one that they always use for me, because mine's really bad, they pull out a spray bottle Ooh. with a special nozzle that sticks, like, that's supposed to go, like, into your ear as far as possible, and they tell you to hold a bucket thing against your neck. And they just start spritzing into your ear. And the thing is, I hate water. And one the one thing I hate is I hate it when water gets into like my ear because it gives you that weird sensation. Yeah. That's just constant and your ear is plugged as he's just like fucking drowning your ear. <laughs> and I'm sitting there like, bah, bah, bah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to... and, and in this one specific case, after I had like pushed it directly into my ear or whatever... It, 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 he was doing that, and it was so fucking painful. Pops it out, he says, I got it! And he pulls it around, he's like, look at this bitch! And it's just <laughs> this massive clump just on the end of this nozzle, and I'm looking at him like, damn man, shit sucks. You look at him like, put the bucket in front of me so I can throw up in it. <laughs> <laughs> You're just staring at him, just... <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I you know what I saw today? What? Oh, this is short, but it was like a 1930s version of the needle where it's like, this is a pointless needle or like I get. Oh, it was just like the air compressor yeah. thing. No, it like... was like, it was a water compressor. Water compressor? Yeah. Like Ooh. it was, it was like water that like they sprayed in super fast. So it's like, this is the, the like metalless needle. And then they, it's like super high, like pressure water. That's like to the point of a needle. And then they put it in. And then it sh it tries to shoot all of the um, all the shit that would yeah. be in a needle in, and it's like that's scary on the premise yeah, of that like fucking terrifying. yeah, and like I I didn't even watch the part where it was going, and I was like Ugh! and I had to turn off of it because I'm like I d for one it doesn't work. <laughs> yeah, the guy, like, if you like listen to like the commentary, it's like oh the the needleless thi the needleless thing metalless needle metalless needle. Put it up to your arm, it just goes right through your pores. That's it. Like, it's on the same premise of, like, a laser. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. But, um, to go with what you're saying, back when I was, like, eight or nine, yeah. I actually had, like, my ear was killing me. Mm -hmm. I actually had to go to, like, an ER. And you know what the fucking lady does? She gives me the thing, like, to hold under your ear. Yeah. She gets this big ass syringe, fills it with water, puts it in my ear, boom! Yeah, no, the, the water in ear stuff is awful. It's terrible. So I'm just listening to it like, please, <laughs> please, 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 stop. please leave me alone. Oh, oh but yeah, it, it it's. It's not pleasant, and that's always the thing I hate, because I live in constant paranoid fear that I'm going to, like, scratch my ear or something, and I'm going to just deafen myself, because it's a very real possibility. It's happened multiple times before, and it will happen again, mm. but I really don't want it to. You know what the, what another bad thing is, too, that, like, that kind of, it sends me the same way of, like, on that level is I still wake up in the morning and my stomach really hurts, and I still think it's because of an ulcer that I caused myself. <laughs> <laughs> With all the spicy shit, maybe it no, is. it. This started before the spicy stuff. You remember when I was like 
14 and I was like, I'm a brony. But I was, it was like I was coming out as gay to my parents because I was like. <laughs> so like, I was so, to build up I was so that. paranoid and afraid of telling them that I liked this TV show for little girls that I think I caused myself an ulcer in my stomach. <laughs> and it was like just the most excruciating pain in my stomach. And I still uh, get like, I still get, get like pains. phantom pains. Yeah, I still pain. get like phantom pains or like ghost echoes of this pain in my stomach when I wake up when I don't drink enough. And I'm like, God, I'm pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> do you, Man. do you ever, did you ever have like those, like some kind of pain or something as a, as a child or whatever? that you just never followed up on or never told anyone about, and you sit here thinking back, like, I wonder if this was, like, an actual medical issue that could have fucking killed me. Um, no. I had chest I pains did. a lot. Well, I did that one. I, I, I did, too. I remember one time sitting there, and this actually happened uh, a couple times way back when, back in elementary, but I remember sitting there at lunch, and my chest just starts dying. Like, I breathed wrong, and I'm like, oh, <laughs> and I just start dying and I'm like I cannot move if I move it causes me pain and then it passed and I as a kid I'm like well that was weird let's not tell anyone about that and I sit I think back on that I'm like do I have lung problems is my heart going to explode two years from now both of your lungs are going to collapse and your heart will explode because of that very moment stop stop that you can't stop me. I've already set myself on the I... path. That just like reminds you how how much of a stupid kid I was. Uh, back like when I was like we lad, we had three parks in our complex, and one of them was just like this old rusted ass piece of like shit little park, mm-hmm. and like it had monkey bars. And I would like I was I would try to be like one of those cool kids. Look me, I can walk on the monkey bars. And this one time, I fell through, and. My nose hit one of the fucking bars. <laughs> Walked home with a bloody nose. That always just... I, I think I've told this one on the podcast before where I was just... I come to, I come to school in the morning and um, I was just walking around at the playground at, a, at our elementary and I, I happened to walk by the monkey bars as some kid's going along and he just fucking boots me in the in the mouth. Yeah. And I, I just sit... I'm, I'm kind of like staggered. I'm stunned. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to turn around and not do that. I remember my grandma, who would take, who walked me there at the time, because both my parents worked. Um, she looks at me and she's like, "What the hell happened to you?" I'm like, "What?" It's like your fucking lip split open. <laughs> I'm like, "What?" And I, I touch my lip, and of course it hurts. I just figured that was lingering pains of being kicked in the face, but now I'm fucking bleeding because, of course, I just got booted in my fucking. It felt like there was a lip, like a boot imprint on my face. Mm. And uh, I just split open my lip. I'm like, oh, sucks, man. I have two more things to say. Don't I got me. one after. To the booger thing with Eric. To the booger, booger. thing. I have had one where it was like the, like the top of my nose, and it felt like it was clogging it. Oh, I, yeah. And I, I couldn't, that. like, I tried uh, Kleenexes and everything, and it didn't work. So I just, I went up there. I felt it, fished it out, and I pulled on it, and next you know, just a long line <laughs> came out of fucking <laughs> my nose. I feel like we've all we've all been there. It was yeah, gross. it was like it was there. red and everything. <laughs> it was just that. Like, I remember when I was a kid, I had like a bloody booger that I pulled out, and I went up to my teacher and was like, "Can, <laughs> can you pull your brain out of your nose?" And she was like. <laughs> Yeah, you can. That's how Egyptians mummified people. And I was like, <laughs> that is actually a, that is a fucking mood though. Like you're a kid and you like pick your nose or whatever, and you you pull you you fucking like. I don't know about you, but I feel like I just cut the inside of my nose and yeah. it, as it goes to scab over, and I pick off the scab. Yeah, I, I, I'm a, I admit, I do I've, that a lot. I've yeah. been there. That's a that's a that's a, a a terrifying reality. Have I ever talked about the broken cup hitting me in the face? I don't think so. Uh, I was probably about like thirteen, fourteen. I was just in the kitchen, and uh, one of my older sister's friends was living with us at the time. Yeah, and we're just like joking around. He just he has two mugs in his hand. He's just going like 
pretend like the shadow box. Yeah, a little shadow boxy thing. Haha, <laughs> And like he goes to pretend to punch me in the face. I guess he did it with such force, it broke off the handle <laughs> and hit me right in the lip. And under my lip, I just have a line from when my tooth went right through it. Ooh. And it's just scarred there now. <laughs> ever since then, I don't trust mugs. <laughs> you need the gold <laughs> mug. <laughs> that's metal. I doubt that's going to break. Try me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to hit me in the face with a cub. <laughs> but like... To another thing where, like, you were thinking that something was something really bad when it really wasn't. I can't remember what got me onto this idea, but maybe just stuff, stuff that sent you and made you fucking suicidal. I remember I was, like, this was recent, I guess, like, maybe a year ago. Or, like, I was having really bad anxiety at work, and um, I just went up to my team lead, and I said, I'm having really bad chest pains, I'm going home. And then before she could say, okay, we're going to call you an ambulance, I just went home, I just went to, I drove, I drove home and, and said to my mom, can you drive me to the hospital? We got there and I described what was, what was happening and like I was really out of breath and everything. And then they rushed me in and I was like, oh, that's weird. And then they were like, how long have you been having this? And I'm like, it's been going on for like two hours. And then like they pull out the defibrillators <laughs> and they get... They get, um... They get ready. <laughs> they pull out, like, um... They pull out a, a blood bag and, like, a bunch of other shit. And they're, like... And then, like, right before they, they're gonna... P I'm like, hold up, what, what the fuck's going on? And, like, the before they're gonna put, like, an IV in my arm, they're like, hold on, can you breathe? And I'm like... I don't know, I, I don't know. And they're like, okay... And then they start asking a bunch of other questions. And I'm like, we were going to treat you for a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, the symptoms of a heart attack and, like, an anxiety attack are so similar yeah. that a lot of the time they can't quite tell the difference. And it's like, we think that it might have been, like, you just, like, aggravated something in your chest through working out. And then that got further, like, aggravated through, like whatever mental problems or home problems are going on at the time and i'm like oh okay <laughs> <laughs> okay i thought i was dying <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, shit sucks man i fucking hate living with mental illness yeah fuck i don't even sucks. know if i have any i've, I've never been properly diagnosed if i do <laughs> having a brain sucks like having, having a brain I've, does suck man i've never considered myself I've never considered myself to be, like, diagnosably mentally unwell in any way. I've never considered myself to have mental, dis mental like, disability or problems. I've never considered myself to have anything... Like, people are like, oh, I suffer anxiety. I've never thought of myself as suffering anxiety. But at the same time, there are just times, you know? Like, you're, abs you're just sent. And, mm -hmm. and I'm just sitting here, like... there. Are, it happens more and more as I grow older. There are just times where I'm like... Do I actually have, like, some severe fucking anxiety problems at times? Mm -hmm. Like, you, you gotta wonder. But at the same time, it's like, I like I, I deal with it. I don't feel like I need any medication or anything for it, so I don't really have a need to diagnose myself. The thing, too, you see with all the people that, like, are on medication as well, like, going on... I feel like I'm probably the same way, where, I'm like, at the end of the day, I'm like, yeah, I got everything done, I'm doing okay, but, like, throughout the day, I'm like, I'm gonna kill myself, I'm fucking done, I'm, I'm done, I'm so <laughs> done, I just want to die. And then, like, yeah. at the end of the day, like, what a good day. <laughs> <laughs> like, but, like, you see people with, like, medications to deal with it and everything, and, like, they say, oh, yeah, it's not, like you just take this pill and you're automatically okay. You have to, like, tell yourself, this is the mood I will have. And, like, medication can go bad and you're just, a million things can go wrong, just like it's, how a million things could go wrong if you didn't. Yeah. It just is, it comes down to your brain because all the pills do is help balance the, mm -hmm. the chemicals in your brain where you then have to retrain yourself to be like, this is happiness. I want to experience this. Mm -hmm. I want to experience this every day. I want to be able to smile normally without hiding anything. Mm. As well as you need to remember that you still need to take this, whether you feel good or not, which is where a lot of people fall short. Yeah, because as soon as they start feeling good about themselves, they're like, okay, I don't need the medication, then 
and the then they're double fucked. Yeah. <laughs> the but, chemicals are... And they're more depressed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, I never felt like I needed to go and get properly diagnosed either because I just fell into that, like, so what? I'm going to feel like I'm going to die regardless if I have, like, the medication or not because... Every therapist I've gone to is like, you seem like you have sound logic and you seem like you're doing pretty well for yourself. And I'm like, I don't know. I really don't know, but you're telling me, so I might believe you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My like, issue is... vote of confidence. Yeah. Like, my issue is I know I have these things. Like, mm. I know I'm depressed. I know I have anxiety or social anxiety and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm just... I'm scared to go to the therapist... They diagnose all this and hand me a thing of pills. Oh, yeah. So we, I think I've explained my history with pills. Yeah. Not me, myself, but, like... Family. Family situations. Mm -hmm. And I just, like, if they offer me a pill, I'm just like, I'm better off just snapping your neck than killing myself right here, right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to do it. <laughs> like, how are they gonna sit there and I explain everything that's happened... And as and well as, like, and, like <laughs> I feel like this comes from, like, the kind of, like, you know, the demand side of everything where, like, a lot of the mental illness in my family, it all lied in the women, whereas, obviously, the men had the same problems, but it came from, like, the idea of, you're a man, you gotta... You gotta be a man. You gotta toughen up, you gotta, like, deal action, with these you know? things, and it's like, I'm trying to, but, man, it's fucking hard. <laughs> and it's never easy, it's never That's been easy. That's why I hate but understand my dad i love my dad to bits i've explained this before yeah he is an old-fashioned man old-fashioned old foggy be a man you're a man stop kind of deal you know he he's he's fucked up in his own ways he has no real emotions and so he's just hide hit all his trauma behind i only think with logic no emotions no anything and but he's like the old fashioned where your mom is about to deal with all this. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's uh, the mother's duty. But we know my mom. <laughs> yeah, well, fell short there. So let alone did I get nothing from my dad. I got nothing from my mom. I I was basically screwed out of everything. So in my I basically had to raise myself to think logically with some emotion, even though I'm mostly unavailable with mostly everything. But, like, I've had to learn what love is from other things, not my own parents. And now tell me, Tyler, can it bloom on the battlefield? No. Oh, damn, man. It can't. <laughs> not nowadays. <laughs> There's no such thing as spontaneous love anymore where you always have to actually bring something with you. Like, I can't just look at a girl and fall in love with her anymore. Otherwise, I'm seen as a creep. Uh, yeah. Shit sucks, man. I don't really believe in love anymore. It, Cause it, it's believe? it's a fading it's a fading thing nowadays. Like love doesn't exist anymore. It can't. There's no magic in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, there was no fucking magic to begin with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah man it's, it's, it's been a struggle cause like I've, I've been open about it like I'm, I'm on dating apps and stuff like that yeah. like I'm trying to find someone yeah they... but when I do find someone things are going good we've been talking for months we've had a few dates you know what the number one reason why it never works out why you're too nice I don't deserve it <laughs> Fuck off! <laughs> Bitch! Okay, now you need to bring that... You need to bring that into the first date. Bro, just that any, energy. Anytime they say, you're too nice, just like, just you just snap like, oh, fuck off. Come on. <laughs> like... I literally... I do. I like When they do say that, I'm like... You hit them. You <laughs> beat them. I don't hit them. I, 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 I express my opinion on things. Like, oh, because at first, I'm a gentleman. I'll be like, okay, I understand. But, but then you rope them in. <laughs> but what the fuck? But what the fuck? <laughs> what, you expect me to be like all these other guys? Like, oh, you a bitch? 
<laughs> like it's it's annoying, man. Like this is just kind of the way that I've seen it. Like I don't know if like I'm even capable of making like new close friends anymore or even getting into a relationship or like reforming bridges with family or anything because I feel like at this point I am just too far gone as a human being. Like everyone says, "Oh, I've had I've struggled with drug problems and alcohol problems in the past." And I'm like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> "You have it just so easy and figured out. You have a reason for these things." <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I just can't form sentences. <laughs> I just don't know how to talk to people about normal things or how to even function other than I go do the thing, I come home, and I'm back in my safe place. <laughs> I don't know. Like, one, one, uh, when talking to people, I one thing I, I kind of realize is that I don't have fucking anything to talk about a lot of the time other than just you know, things I've experienced, my own stuff, my own tales, of which I have very little, obviously, because I'm just some reclusive little asshole. So I spend a lot more time just not talking to people or just waiting for someone else to find, to bring something that I can f say at least something about. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a problem I suffer with where I won't talk to you unless I have something interesting to say, and it... It's like I there's people who I was best friends with for years and I just don't talk to anymore because like what am I gonna say I have nothing interesting <laughs> yeah, to say. Yeah, what's, what's to say? When I, I get was... that on on the level of I don't speak unless spoken to, and I feel mm -hmm. like a lot of other people these days are the same way. Where like it's I like could talk to somebody. It's like always open to approach, mm -hmm. but you gotta approach. Yeah, and I've had other people that like. I've met at, like, group gatherings or parties and stuff, say, like, I don't know, I'll be self-deprecating, and it's like, I don't know why people talk to me, and it's like, dude, everybody talks to you because they like you, or they think you're funny, and I'm like, but I don't think I'm funny. I don't, <laughs> I just, what, what, I don't <laughs> get it. What are you talking I don't, about? I don't understand why you speak to me. I don't understand why anybody speaks to me. I don't even understand why you guys speak to me. I speak to you because you're cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't get it. I... <laughs> At the very least, you're 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 a, a level of cool relate that I can relate to. So <laughs> yeah, I just relate to you a lot. So you're you're cool. You're funny. I like you. There's no magic left in the world. <laughs> magic is dead. But um, <laughs> when I was at my uh, my my work thing where I, I was socializing with uh, with my coworkers and shit, um, we got a number of people who are close to close to our age. Yeah. Um. But even though I was still, like, <laughs> one of the youngest, I think there was one other person my age there. But um, one of the guys I was talking to, um, one of the things we talked about, he's sitting there like, yeah, I, I, I'm not I'm not great at these social things. Like, ah, you should have seen me in the car heading here. I'm just absolutely, like, I can't sit still because I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm anxious. I'm, I'm anxiety. And it wound up. That was the, like, longest and most involved conversation I had because we just talked about how neither of us fucking know how to talk to people. <laughs> we were just discussing, like, yeah, these social events are very anxiety-inducing and I don't know what I'm doing. And you know what? I almost feel like that's even better than how I cope with those situations because how I do it is I just get blackout drunk and it disappears. Yeah. <laughs> I just leave after getting drunk, and everyone's like, yo, you were so funny last night. I'm like, remind me of what I did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just made weird sounds pretty, in the corner. I'm pretty sure I've got some kind of invisible kill switch within me that stops me from drinking all that much or doing things like that in most settings other than, like, here. Like it all I, depends. I've gotta, I've gotta be with you people to actually like go ham on that shit. Cause even there, I'm, I'm like going to the bar, I'm grabbing some drinks, but even then, I'm still going slowly, and I don't reach this level of actual proper drunk. Cause I'm like, just can't do it here. This ain't the place. 
Which it, it isn't. Don't do that at work stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do that at work stuff. <laughs> Don't invite us. <laughs> oh, boy. Did I ever tell you about the Christmas party? <laughs> I think you have. I don't remember a lot of that party, but I remember people telling me the next, like, the Monday after that they got a bunch of snaps of me running through a playground yelling about God and then running from somebody else, and then I'm just at home throwing pillows against the wall. (laughs) And then they were like, bro, that was hilarious. I'm like, I don't remember sending it. (laughs) Those are fucking... Drunk snaps from Eric are a fucking trip. They sure are, because I don't remember falling. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Anyway, what's another topic? I'm tired of talking about how fucked up we as well as I am. (laughs) That's just our only... That's our shtick. Yeah, that's our (laughs) shtick. That's the whole point of this podcast, (laughs) is to just slowly vent over time. (laughs) Yeah, this is a cry for help, viewer. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> let's, not, let's not talk about that kind of stuff The cry for help With the, the whole recent development <laughs> You mean our uh, our Instagram? Yeah Oh my god Alright, <sighs> brief overview We aren't going to go deep into it But there's a guy that um, I used to know That has been Recently indoctrinated into a psych ward Over the period of like the past 36 hours because he's been non-stop posting about a breakup he had. Is it a breakup? I, I don't know. I don't know if it's a breakup No one or knows not. the truth except that there's it's like, absolutely mental. There's like, there's a breakup, then there's the whole plot with like some dude like manipulating his girlfriend, then there's the whole boxing thing, then there's the whole taking over London thing. He, he called out all of the dispensaries in London saying that he was asking people on his timeline to deliver him weed and then complaining that no one would deliver him weed and then saying that if he went to a dispensary, they would probably lace it just from looking at his face alone. (laughs) And and I, on some sixth, on some sixth sense, I can kind of relate to that because like when you get so stuck in your own head, you just think the world's against you. Yeah. It's never gotten that bad for me, but I know of other people in my personal life that it has gotten that bad for. I won't say who, but... (laughs) (sighs) Right now, so... We get it. Like, the human brain is just so fucking stupid. It really is. How did we just get so dumb? Internet. Probably. Oh, can I talk about something I've seen on uh, Instagram today? Sure. What did you see on Instagram? My Actually, good no, it was on TikTok of a girl doing a live stream on Instagram. Oh, boy. Where I was just perusing TikTok, and, like, the guy, like, it started with, like, a guy, like, I can't believe people nowadays, and started playing the clip. And it was a girl who, like, on Instagram, you can ask questions, it'll pop up on the screen. Here. Yep. And one was, uh, do you know who Hitler is? And she was like... I don't fucking know who this Hitler is. It's probably some kind of rapper. That sounds like a rapper rapper name. <laughs> Little Hitler. You rappers. I don't big... believe it. First album, The Final I Solution. I don't believe it. But do you want to know what kind of girl she was? Okay. A ghetto, hot chip, long fake nails, black lady. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. And like even towards the end of the clip was like, oh, you know what? I... I think Hitler's a good name. I, I would probably name my kid that. No, that has to be fake. I, I refuse That's to That's what I'm thinking, but, like, I've heard people say some dumb shit. Like, I think I told you guys this about this thing on when we're playing games on TikTok, like, the whole segregation thing. Mm-hmm. Like, the girl, like, a, a very light-skinned black lady, black girl, was like, we should have our own, we should have a, a school just for blacks, natives, Muslims, all of them. <laughs> yeah. And I remember that. A, a white lady you had is like, we did, we tried this, but you all, but you all complained. <laughs> and it's just a series of black faces like, oh, she said it, oh, she said it. And everyone's just like, you're not wrong, though. <laughs> you're not wrong. But, um. 
was going to mention something else. Interesting fact. I actually think that I should segregate myself from From everything. society. Yeah. I don't think that's se- segregation. I think it's just... It is nomadic. segregation. It's just a single person it's being just segregated. It's just on a very, very minor level. Like, I feel like everybody should turn their back on me, as well as me turn my back on society, and I just live in a jungle gym in a, a dilapidated forest that is built around one McDonald's that has no... <laughs> Just a random thing in, like, Africa. Just a random McDonald's. Yes. In the middle of the road. Just make a fucking, like... Completely automated. Just make a a fucking watchtower out of the Golden Arch. (laughs) Yes. And, like, I just live in the jungle gym off of Big Macs. And I think that that would probably be the ideal life. Probably would be. Because I live in the jungle gym. I control the ball pit. (laughs) And... Oh, that's what you meant by jungle gym. No, I I mean a literal jungle gym, not a tree fort, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, I live in the jungle gym in the middle of a forest connected to a McDonald's, and I live off of chicken nuggets and Big Macs, and nobody is allowed to enter there. Like, you know that tribe that, like, they throw spears and tomahawks and shit at the drones flying by? Yeah. I want to be that level of disconnected. <laughs> like, they feed the they feed the, um, the McDonald's, like, kind of automation system with underground tracks that are too far for me to venture to. Like, that's how the food gets to me. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> it just reminds me, like, the McDonald's, I think, in either Australia or, like, Tokyo, where it literally... The, the cooking area is up here, and the actual, like, serving area is down here. Mm-hmm. So once they're done making the food, they put their fucking bag on, like, a little tether thing, and it just goes... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think I that, that would be the idea. I to rip, though. That's my, that's my thought every single time, because, like, it takes a sharp corner. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, it, they have to have tested that, where, like, the maximum amount of stuff that you can put in an order before it would rip. Yeah, and, like, this, the most efficient speed, you, it can actually go before the bag itself just I'd rips. like to be the tester of that. I'd like that to be my job. I just go to different McDonald's in Tokyo, and, like, I put as much food in a bag as I can before it, like, r- turns around that corner and rips in half and shoots food everywhere. <laughs> and I'm just like... <laughs> <laughs> Just watching food rip around a corner and spray a bunch of people. <laughs> you don't even speak. Uh, you don't even speak fucking Japanese or anything. Yeah, they're just like, who's that? Who's who's this? Who's this guy, Oh, he's the uh, he's the he's the agronomic con- scientist. The the conveyor testorium. Yeah. He's uh he he's trained in uh in the in the science of uh of weight distribution and bag strength. And I just show up to work like my my shirt half tucked into my pants, a cigarette lit in one hand and another one in my mouth. I don't even smoke, and I'm just <laughs> and I'm just drunk and high, just shoving bricks into a bag. Wearing <laughs> a lab coat. Yeah. <laughs> A lab coat stained with mustard and vomit. I've always, <laughs> I've always wanted to just be that guy who wears a lab coat. <laughs> just into you were that one kid who always wore a trench coat. Yeah, I like long coats. <laughs> you really know what you were known for, the trench coat f- fedora guy. Yeah, because I was ready to shoot the school. You're lucky I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, the testing just takes so long because, like, my method of testing is I don't put one brick in and take it out after, like, it breaks. I shave half of a millimeter off of one brick and then I put it back in the bag and watch it throw it off the conveyor again. <laughs> And then I do another half millimeter, just again and again and again. I make two full days out of it, and then I take... Eventually, one brick disappears, and then it's fine. I'm like, ah, that's all it ever needed. <laughs> the science is perfected. <laughs> uh, truly genius. Truly a savant of putting bricks in bags and watching them get ripped off of a conveyor. Absolutely. Like, five people got their heads caved in because I had... I kept... I was persistent in telling them that the the store needed to be running while I did it so it could be a full simulation. (laughs) (laughs) We need perfect environment. People are just getting their heads caved in by bags of bricks shooting off a conveyor. That was scary. 
Huh. I've never liked the the paper bags. They're just I don't trust them. Gotta hold them from below as you're holding them from above. The only paper bags from like a fast food restaurant you cannot trust is Burger King. Because they're the only ones I've actually truly ever had rip on me. I've had Chinese food bags rip on me. Well, whenever I order Chinese food, it just tends to be in plastic bags. Well, la-dee-da. Look at fucking Mr. Moneybanks here. (laughs) 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 Can afford real plastic. (laughs) (laughs) Shells out the big bucks. Fucking, hey, Mr. Louis Vuitton, I got the fucking plastic <laughs> Chinese food bag over here. Hey, fuck Ooh, you. look at me. <laughs> I am none of that shit. Old John Tron was better. <laughs> yeah. That's hokey. Old John Tron was better. Oh, that yeah, I, that I, quote lives rent free in my head. But. I've also decided to continue jerking off. Oh, well, thank God for oh, that. Yeah, I forgot you stopped. Yeah, I stopped, and then because I was working out, and I was like, I feel like I might save protein or whatever. Some Sigma fucking male whatever piece of shit Chad cunt told me that I should stop jerking off if I'm working out. And then I stopped, and then... <laughs> that was Tyler, though. Yeah, and other internet <laughs> people. I didn't tell him that. I did, though. No, I didn't. You mentioned to him, I like, mentioned oh, it yeah, after I mentioned that I was stopping uh. when we were playing P- PlayStation, but... A f- last night, I was like, I I had a dream that a, a girl with big boobas was like riding my pee pee, and then I woke up and I was like, hold on a minute, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I think what I said is, and just an insane amount of bust, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to prevent this from happening again because I remember, probably the most. The most intelligent doctor out there, Dr. Drew from your mom's house, said, if you don't take care of it yourself, God will do it for you. And I don't want (laughs) God to do it for me anymore. I want God to do it. Uh, No. (laughs) It's not good. That's gay and incest. Yeah, because then you got a fucking pant full of coom. You see. Oh, that way. Yeah. I thought God would came Because it's all about cleanup, brother. It's hard to clean up if there's literally a pool in your shorts. Oh, I know, I know. Just sleep naked. Uh. Yeah. Tyler, you said it on the podcast that you jerked off in the library. Was that on the podcast? I don't... Okay, sorry. I might have exposed you. <laughs> I think you. it was. You did mention it at some point, so... Tell the uh, story again. I think that might have been before the podcast. Or don't have to. I can bleep this all out if you don't want that to be... <laughs> We'll make it one long bleep. We'll make it like I said the N-word this time. Yes. Uh, I think it was to, it was like the last 15 minutes of the school day. I was like, I don't got a class. I need something to do. So I went to the library. I was like, man, I got a raging boner right now. <laughs> boner. I don't know. Should I go to the bathroom or something? I was like, you know what? No one's in that section over there. Let me go over there. Bailiff, whack his pee-pee. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just sat up against one of the fucking shelves and just did it. He, he used the old uh, the old hole in the pocket trick. He out. A classic maneuver. I've never done such a thing. I don't like the idea of cum being Man, pushed against my underwear. Bro... I can't even piss in, like, a public environment, let alone jerk off. <laughs> what, do you, what do you guys do for wanking it? Do you, like, shoot into your hand or on your stomach? What do you do? We're airing it all out now. <laughs> this just reminds me of, like, like, Eric said, like, oh, yeah, I wanted to beat my meat, but I didn't have any Kleenex. I was like, what What do you mean? You, you, got, you used Kleenex? Why not just beat your meat into the, into the fucking toilet? Because oh, then, then I have go to and stand in front of a Then I have toilet. to stand in front of a toilet. And what if somebody comes downstairs when I'm standing in front of the toilet? Can you guys not do it when standing up? I can. I, I, can. I, I just can. don't see the point. I just. Like. I you, feel like it's more embarrassing like to say you're laying in bed and you fucking spank your meat and then you go to the bathroom. Well, what I do is I throw the Kleenex onto my nightstand <laughs> and then I throw it out in the morning. Into the toilet. It's contained in the clean eggs. I don't. I just. I go. I cut out the middleman. I go straight for the toilet. I mean. It, so it's you're an taking. All right. It's an you live. Li- that some people take, but I don't. You have one bathroom 
in your house, and you just take up that bathroom for that time, and you just shoot it into the toilet. <laughs> yeah. So some let's let's say hypothetically somebody else in your house needs to take a shit and or piss or jerk off into the toilet. Here's the thing. Well, no, 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 no. Here's the thing. I know the optimal times. <laughs> okay, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Do you do you have your phone? Like, are you are you looking at your phone while you're doing this? Sometimes, yeah. Here's the problem I'd have. I'd be constantly nervous. I'm gonna drop my phone Let's right see. in the toilet. <laughs> I've held my. You phone. You dropped your phone in the toilet, didn't you? <laughs> I've done it once. You fucking animal. <laughs> I've held my phone in the shower while doing it. No fear. The thing like, is, like, it did no. fall in the toilet. And the first thing it did, it popped up a notification, like, "Oh, we sense water in your phone." I was like, "No fucking shit!" Because <laughs> <laughs> do phones do that? We I've sense water in your happen. phone. Yeah, it sends water in the phone. Mine right? never told me that because, like, there's condensation building up on my phone, and I'm like swiping it away with my hand. <laughs> like, the the wettest my phone has ever been is like when that it was sitting... in your ass. Yeah, absolutely. Sorry, no, it's drier than the desert in there. But okay, um, <laughs> stop <laughs> like that fiber. sitting sitting around downtown waiting for a bus in the pouring fucking rain, and I'm like, all right, look. I'm I'm bored to tears. My feet hurt. I gotta look at my phone. I gotta like fucking see like if bitches are sexing me or some shit. And rain <laughs> just builds up on my phone, and it's so annoying because the rain builds up enough that it actually starts pressing buttons on my phone. Yeah, I, that stuff's annoying. I've yeah, done. That yeah, funny. that's re- that's really relatable when I'm like picking songs for when I'm in the shower. But yeah, usually have. To... <laughs> well, with that, I just I just shower. play a playlist and just have it shuffle. Yeah, but I have to click skip ad because i'm poor i don't have youtube premium <laughs> neither do i i just i just rip it off the internet <laughs> i i do that too <laughs> are we get are we getting some rat action okay continue i heard rats i didn't i, I heard don't like hear anything I there. yeah there was a, there, we had a little bit of rat action but i don't know if the fucking if the if the microphone picked it up but, um, usually in a case like that, like, say I will bring, like, he- like I'll have some headphones on in my phone. In the shower? Watch a video. No, when I'm beating my meat to the okay. toilet. Okay. <laughs> All right, right, back to the roots. Yeah, back to the important part. Yeah. I have, I, I have a great imagination. So, like, I'll it's put the phone to the side, close it, like, lock it, and I'll, like, it gives me the option to continue playing the video. So I'll imagine the sound in my head, and like it's the the sound the girl's making as I'm fucking her. Okay. So, there's, so you there's like no video, but you're just listening to the sound. I'm listening to the sound. I'm imagining something in my head, and I basically eliminate the possibility of the, I the have, phone dropping into the toilet. I almost have sound off completely all the time. Yeah, I do the same thing. I don't have sound on on my phone most of the time. Partially because you never know when you're going to be sitting around and your phone's going to just, and you're going to like click on a video or something and suddenly you're just going to hear, ah! Ah! <laughs> That's why you fucking pre plan. You have your headphones in. Like, if I'm going to go through the effort of having, I feel if I'm going to go through the effort of having like headphones on or like, and actually like listening to something or doing something like that, I'm just going to do it at my computer, bro. You take the sacrifice. Have some Kleenex with you, bro. Spunk on the screen. You see... No, <laughs> under the desk, dummy. <laughs> you just go to look under your desk. There's a circle wet spot. <laughs> Instead of gum under the desk, it's just, it's just gum. gum. It's gum spell <laughs> not backwards. Muck. <laughs> Mug. <laughs> but gum. <laughs> I don't really just do it in my bed so I can just fall asleep after. Nah. Nah. Uh, every single nah. time I do it in the bed, nah. I just regret it afterwards. Because now I gotta keep my hand in my pocket. I gotta, like, keep the foreskin closed so cum doesn't come on my fucking shorts Tyler. and pants. What? Kleenex. <laughs> like... I feel like Kleenex I'm, is the I'm ultimate, the, like, savior. I'm not going in under my covers and just blasting all over them. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, not saying you are. <laughs> like, you're, you guys are looking at me like I'm disgusting for doing it. I, no, like, I'm saying it to you. Oh, like, just, just use some fucking tissue, bro. I do while I'm at the toilet. 
But you take it with you! No. <laughs> My brain don't work like that. Tyler, I have please. a system and I follow it. Tyler, you have so you can have you can have guilt free nuts. Even if then you just when I have it covered. When I like do it in the bed is very rare. I mean, yeah, I suppose, but like I don't know, your habits are weird. Especially since I is it is it weird I always pee afterwards? No, actually, no. And, that's actually a good thing. Yeah, yeah it's I, it's supposed you're to be clearing clear out the tube, sure. you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like after. It's actually very healthy, Tyler. That's actually yeah, you should good, good job, health conscious wanking. Tyler, deliver a um a healthy message to the viewers about that. What? Tell them that they should pee after they come. When you're beating your meat and you got the, the goo everywhere, <laughs> make sure you take a piss afterwards. And clean it out. And it then get out of bed. H I H T S T T S If you come in your bed, make sure you piss. I didn't say that, did I? <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> but yeah, I, I learned that not from like any oh. thing happening at school, like with health class and stuff like that. It's after I uh, had sex with the lady, she told me like, hey, go for a piss. I was like, why? I was like, just in case, you know, you never know. <laughs> and then you peed up. inside of her. No. Yeah. No. You peed in the condom. Let's just ruin a generation of people by telling them that they have to put their dick and balls in the condom. What? Tell them that they have to put, they have to fit their balls in the condom. No. Extra large. That would suck. And then they also have to put their balls in the vagina. I just gotta fit them all in. No, there has been someone who tried to do that. Bro. Of course there has been. That would... Why wouldn't so there be? Awful. It would be. Oh. But you know someone has tried it. Yeah, of course. If someone's also tried sticking their dick in a moose. Doesn't mean I want to acknowledge it. No, they didn't try. They succeeded. <laughs> has somebody succeeded first. in putting their dick in a moose? Tom Green. Oh. Now I remember that's the reason why he's famous. Yeah, I guess. He was yeah. caught he was caught with his dick inside of a dead moose and he got his own show because of it. Oh. It's he very... was Canadian. <laughs> I just picked moose cuz it's a random animal that would likely kill your shit dead. Bro, mooses are they're something else. They're fucking huge. They're big boys. You know, they can swim up to like 20 meters below water and they're fast approaching. Better because run. that's how they make their antlers big. They live off of the they get the salt from all the plants at the bottom of Just the to water. Think, one of the enemies of the moose is the killer whale. Because <laughs> it actually has been like things seen like a killer whale actually attacking a fucking moose underwater. Because where they like, where mooses can go that deep, there are Mice. killer whales there. Mooses. Mice. Moose. Moose. Mice. That's a different animal. Mises. Must. Mr. Meeseeks, look at me. You just had to bring Rick and Morty oh, to this, huh? Yeah. I hate you. Second time, bitches. There's no, there's no magic left in the world. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying there's no magic, but I can make that doll move. Don't touch my fucking cat. <laughs> <laughs> My cat, you... Don't touch my cat. Don't touch kitty. Pretty kitty. Do not fuck the cat. Don't tell me what to do. Don't touch cat, don't talk to cat, don't refer to cat, don't look at cat. My don't. fox balloon is still alive. God damn. It's just been forgotten in the corner, that's why. It's not forgotten, I just remembered it. <laughs> anyway, we watched... Tuberculosis today. Yep. <laughs> no, we didn't. We watched tuberculosis happen through one patient. It was a very riveting experience. We watched a man die. His name was the Great Gatsby. <laughs> yeah. 
It was a good movie. Yeah, I liked it. Yeah, it was pretty it good. Was, it's been the second time that I've seen it. I'd definitely watch it again. Probably see things I didn't see before. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was seeing shit that I didn't see before, and it made me very sad. Uh, <laughs> suck my dick and call me gay, old sport. Old sport. Old sport. Old sport. It didn't matter the age of the person. He always called them an old sport. The oldest sport is Basketball. dick sucking. <laughs> Competitive. Do you think the Sex Olympics still go on? What? What is the I Sex Olympics? You never heard of the Sex Olympics? Oh, is that the one where it's like a girl will like do backflips onto a guy's dick and shit? Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it still goes on. Have you ever seen those like conventions of uh, and performances of people where people just go and they mime sex? I think I saw a clip no. of it with uh, my hero characters. That's heinous, man. My Hero Academia is gay old sport. <laughs> I gotta no, say, my it's hero straight. academia People is People want not it to be gay. <laughs> if, I see, if I see my children looking at my hero academia, I'm gonna kill them. Fun fact, that bunny woman is 18. I mean, 14. What? Yeah. The super buff lady. Yeah. She's not 14. Yeah. No, she's not. It's a good thing I don't associate with my hero yes, academia. She is. No, she's not. Yes, she is. You're lying. Go ahead and look. Look it up right now. I am. Yeah. There's no way. I mean, I am going to... Neon be... Genesis Evangelion fans. I'm, I'm Those gonna... two girls, they're also 14. <laughs> if I'm being honest, I don't really much care for any My Hero characters all that much. Sue is probably my the best of the lot, but even then, like... <laughs> 14! <laughs> well, I was just going to say, even then, like... I'm not looking up My Hero Academia. Like, I'm really not. Even mm. when The Bunny Girl was released, I'm like, eh, yeah, what, whatever. Should be more rabbit. I mean, what? Yeah, Judy Hopps is at least legal. Yeah, yeah, everyone should instead... You lie! Huh? Did I? She's 27! <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Then which one was 14 that I was talking about? I feel like most of them are 14. Somebody told me that she was 14, and I was like, oh, I guess. I don't fucking care. I don't like her anyways. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Frankly, I'm disgusted by My Hero Academia. I just don't care about it. <laughs> like, it's the latest shonen to get traction. Do you know what's funny? In Nothing. one of the recent, like, uh, chapters, uh, there was a translation error... That saying, like, you know, little, little great boy, Minetto, not Minetto. Minette. The small uh, dude. Small dude. We know who you're talking about. Fucking creepy dude. You're, he, I don't know anything about his character, I just know he's small. He, and I think he's gay. No, he's no. bi. He, the translation error said, oh, he basically confessed his love of Deku. And everyone was just outraged <laughs> it's all the characters to turn bi or gay it was Mineta <laughs> not your not your Deku your Todoroki your but how Bakugo. is that a translation error apparently the way he said it he didn't mean it as like I love you as in like a gay way you mean I love you as like a best friend because they technically are best friends uh huh and people took it as He's gay for Deku? <laughs> gay for that? Deku gay? 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 <laughs> it I just mean, brings me so much joy that I can't read. Every, any, uh, the, the, the My Hero fan base probably already thought he was gay anyway. This whole character stick is he fucking creeps on girls. They probably still thought he was gay. It's a My Hero Academia Weren't people up in arms about, like, the bunny girl having a line drawn for her pussy? I don't know. I mean, that's just when I clued in. It's funny. <laughs> it's it's funny because uh, I see people complain, like, oh, y'all are over-sexualizing these girl characters. But they say nothing about the guy characters who are obviously over-sexualized. Solid Snake has a juicy you. ass. He does. Who? Solid Snake. Yeah. They nerfed it in Ultimate. They did. Yeah. And it's a damn shame. Much like how they nerfed IQ's ass. That's a woman. 
that's actually um, very sexist and yeah, problematic totally of you. Sh- you should have thought more before you I'm said that sorry. one. Uh, maybe I jerk off to Maverick a little bit more. What? Maybe jerk off to Maverick a little bit more and we'll understand where you're coming I from. But yeah, bro, his, his thing's I horse cock, hate. you know? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. If you actually invert his polygons, you'll actually see a, um, a perfectly formed horse cock under his skin. Yeah, absolutely. It's actually very true, and if you look it up, it's definitely true. Yes. Look up Maverick horse cock. It's actually wrapped around his left leg. It is the same width and diameter as his uh, as his uh, his gun. You see, that's why when you um, that's why when you you to- you take out his blowtorch and you torch a hole, and if you just torch a single spot, it's the perfect glory hole for his massive horse cock. As well as Siegward, his armor, his dick is actually wrapped around the onion folds. Yeah, like the folds of the. It, it's actually smooth armor, but the but his dick just pushes it out mm-hmm. at intervals. You know, you look, know the uh, the Hawkeye Go look. things that you can throw out, where it's like, thank you. Uh, yeah, if if you if you take Siegward up to where the uh, the crows drop those, if uh, the the like. The PlayStation Four. If you if you take him up there, it will shoot a um, the the disc will bubble up only if you have the disc. It will bubble up and it will shoot a penis out. And if you suck it until completion, it will drop the your gay thing. Yeah, it, it will is. drop the your gay it was Hawkeye Ghost ghost most stone. Famous carving. Yes. He was going. He was going to. Uh, he was going to use it. Uh, in the plant DLC where he was going to go fight uh, the remaining knights. He was going to fight Ornstein and help you in the boss fight. And uh, if he defeated Ornstein, he would drop it and say, and it would say, You're gay. Mm-hmm. And that's how you get it. Yeah. You have to, like... Be- got content. You, you have to become gay yourself to do it. So yeah. it's like, this is the... this. What's the price of a mile? Yeah. You know, like, if you, if you want the this... The price you, of the mile is a Hawkeye gay. Yes, you have to suck Can a cough. Can please stop with this? <laughs> <laughs> I lost interest as soon as you brought Mav up. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys just straight rambled on about it. <laughs> Are y'all trying to say something? <laughs> We're trying to yeah, say if you want to if you want to get the your gay stone, you have to suck fucking or Hold on, I'm getting wrapped around cocks. <laughs> <laughs> you have to suck on st- yeah. Basically what we're saying, appreciate Maverick more. You no. have to suck onion cock if you want to get the your gay stone. Yeah. What are you not understanding? <laughs> Basically, all I'm saying is I don't like My Hero Academia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And there's no Moral magic. The and there's no magic left in the world. <laughs> no magic. What time are we at? Yeah, what time? Too long. It ended. Uh, uh, hour 40. What's what's a song? Uh, Do you believe in magic <laughs> in a young girl's... Uh, all right, we need a song that we all know. God, uh, there, you're going to be hard-pressed for that. Tyler, you start singing. We'll sing with you. I don't remember lyrics. What? I don't remember lyrics. What? Are, you gotta know the song. This is the, you got the music in you, Tyler. I don't got the magic in me. Yeah, but you got the music. You got the music in you. Uh, can we just like Mongolian throat singing? <laughs> Haven't we already done that? Probably. I think we have at some point. Like, that's just eccentric and stupid enough that we would have done it naturally. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. What other things are like Mongolian throat singing that we haven't done? I don't fucking know. You think I remember these? I mean, I think I remember them a little bit better. (laughs) (laughs) I listened to them twice. (laughs) I think we've done Mongolian throat singing at some point. Oh, yeah. I think Definitely. it was on a Q episode. Probably. Shout out to Q, by the way, if you're listening. Yeah, shout outs to Q. Love you. Favorite letter. You know, that was probably the fa- my favorite joke that we did. We fooled all of our viewers into thinking that Q was Asian. Yeah. No, nah, he's just a white guy from America. Yep. <laughs> 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 uh, 
end it. <laughs> no, we need, we need a, a song. song. End it. Uh, all right, I'll just sing. Um, she piao piao she bong chao me. Piao piao jing bing bong ding ding bong. I think that's just racist. Wing <laughs> <laughs>